Yeah. Okay. Um, put yourself in these shoes. I actually can, to tell you, you the truth. Okay. I mean, me I have a best friend. Mm -hmm. Like, I have like tattoos What's been as a the biggest grave adjustment to for you? So, since you know, you got here in jail? he was like uh, a brother to me. We grew up together. Uh, we always spent time together. We played flag football, football together. Right. From flag football to basketball, he wasn't all that good at basketball. But he only played because I played because we were like this or whatnot. Um, Anthony Smith. Um, what happened was, you know, we got older, we always stayed together. We ended up playing in high school together. But Florida already has some pretty good He was starting his junior year. I was starting my joint. So it was a connection. He played linebacker. So, you know, the line and linebacker is always talking right. back and forth, right? Um, come on, coming into our senior year over the summer, there was this huge party down in Miami. And if you caught it, it, it was on CNN. What happened was he was at a party. And what do you think you'll have there was like a gang on one side of the fifth on the uh, sidewalk. And there was another gang on the other side of the sidewalk. And it was the Fourth of July, so fireworks going off all night. Right? Um, they set off a, a TNT bomb. You know, it's one of the loudest firecrackers you can find. Period. So it sounded like a gunshot. So most people got nervous. People started fidgeting, moving. So you know, you notice when something gets flaky, like and out of an ordinary. So therefore. The one gang that was on this side, they started pulling out guns. This gang started pulling out guns, and I was supposed to go to that party. If it wasn't for my wife, she called me the same night and was like, I'm coming over. And I was like, man, why didn't you tell me earlier? Because I'm going to go out. She was like, well, I'm coming over anyway. You're just going to leave me here? So I was like, no, you know, I'll stay here. So she actually, you know, saved my life or whatnot. Because a six, seven guy in that position of bullets flying everywhere, I mean, he he actually ran towards the bullets. Nobody knew where they were coming from, but he ran into it. Um, they say he died on the spot. They revived him. He battled for a good four days. I miss I miss practice for like a good four days. I spent. I never went home. I didn't eat for like a good two days or so because all I can think about was him. So you know, I, I didn't really have an appetite. I stayed at the hospital four days and then finally he passed away on July 9th. Living, who is? I'm sorry, who's he talking about? Oh, um, my best friend, Anthony Smith. That's Anthony Smith? Yes. You played high school ball with him? Yes. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just want to get a quick question in about your recruiting class and you guys all coming in together and the fact that you, uh, you know, you've got the number one class and you have a little bit of a bond. Talk about these guys next to you. I mean, these guys are amazing, man. Sharif Floyd. This guy take on the triple team if he has to. I mean, anything to get to the quarterback. Ronald Powell, he's one of the most physical defensive ends I've ever seen in my life. And Dominique Easley has the quickest step off the ball out of everybody here. He can literally snatch the snap from the center if he wanted to. Drew said he got pancaked a couple times the first day. Yeah. You got to pay attention to I mean, this is a new level, man. It's not high school anymore, you know. You can you can actually, in high school, you can do dibby-dabby stuff and still get away with it and still get in the backfield, but everybody's good, period. Once you get to college, everybody's good. You don't you don't underrate or undermine anybody. Everybody's good, and they're here for a reason. It didn't take you long to figure that out. No, it didn't. I mean, as far as the run block, I mean, it's the toughest thing in the world to me now. But, you know, as far as the pass rush, I keep my motto that I've always said, you can't block what you can't touch. People talking about the pass rush this year, when the farmers going to have one, what do you think? Um, Justin Tridow, Duke Lemons, right off the edge, trust me. We're ranked number seven in the SEC as far as the defensive line, and we're going to prove them wrong. Number two, the two years prior to that. Number one, actually. Yeah, no. You know, lots of A little bit of role in there for you, baby. Uh, we got to see. We got to see how camp goes. If not, then you know I just you know get better, work on my technique, gain a little bit more weight, and I'll be ready to rock my next year. At the end year. of track season, what did you weigh? Um, I was weighing at like a good 210, 208. And what are you now? Um, 238.